This video is not sponsored by Costa Coffee. Over the past few months, I've been collecting these. Costa Coffee stirring sticks. Actually, I think there's a few Starbucks ones in there as well. If I'm gonna choose, I probably would go with Starbucks. There's not actually that many Starbucks over here in the UK. There's probably more Costa Coffees. And as they're scattered around in all the petrol stations, it's kind of the one that I normally drink. But as I'm in the petrol station, filling up with gas, or petrol, making myself a nice cup of Costa coffee and stirring it up with these little sticks. Thought to myself, you know what? I could make something with those. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I mean, look at them. They look pretty cool. Definitely can make something with those. So I've taken out the middle ones because uh, the way I'm thinking is I'm, I don't really want those in the middle. I just want these kind of going around the edge. So hopefully I'll get like um, that sat in exactly the right place I want it to go. That's all. I've had a little bit of a fiddle around with it just to make sure. But I want these just on the edges and I want to be able to hollow out the middle. Um, so I've obviously got to turn this over once it's dry and then we can fill it back up again up to the top there. So that can be like a kind of a really cool, funky looking vase, I reckon. So, um, yeah, I'm just having a little fiddle around just to make sure that they do sit in the right places. And then we can just leave this in the pressure pot overnight and see what we got. Hopefully this is going to turn out looking kind of funky. Thank you. 
I reckon this is gonna look pretty funkadelic. Whatever that means. Okay, so we made quite a bit of a mess, but actually this is looking uh, kind of funky. As you can see, I've cut back on the edges um, just to make it look a little bit more interesting. This is looking quite cool. So what I need to do now is I'm just going to I'm going to part it. Well, I'm not going to part it off just yet, but I'm going to get ready to part it off somewhere down here. But we need to hollow it out first. So I'm going to do the hollowing out now. So I've just finished this off, uh, camera stopped recording, but I just used a bit of this uh, Shella Wax Cream. Ooh, she is beautiful. B-E-A-utiful. So uh, there it is so far, I'm just going to part this off now, and then uh, put it in the buffing wheel, buff it up a bit, finish off the end, uh, try and get my emblem in there somehow. And then I don't know, I might put a piece of wood to this yet, I don't know. Maybe a piece of wood for it to sit on. Um, we'll work on that. Not too sure if that was my finest hour. It's all right, but I'm not overly impressed with the finish. I did have quite a bit of trouble 
kind of cleaning the inside, which is why it looks kind of a little bit misty. And there are a few bubbles in this as well, um, probably because the um, air has got out of these little sticks. Nevertheless, you know, it was kind of challenging to try to get this to look like this for me anyway. Um, nice piece of wood this actually um, I really really like this bit of wood but it was only a small piece I thought this might work quite well for this really so it's sort of like set into the actual vase can actually be set into this so it's kind of like an ornamental kind of piece you can put you know flowers in it if you want I suppose or I've been meaning to do this kind of Costa Coffee Starbucks kind of project for a while again another one that i've kind of that i've had hanging around uh in my head just and every now and again when i pop into costa coffee or starbucks i'll grab a few extra sticks so if you're in starbucks or costa coffee in the next day or week or month or whatever look at those costa coffee sticks think about this project you can think about me as well and think about what you could probably make with these little sticks. Grab a couple of extra ones, bring them home. There's loads of things you could probably make with them. I've still got tons of them left. And we'll probably make another project with these another day. Well, I hope you like it. I will leave stills up at the end. They probably won't be the best stills in the world. But, um, <laughs> the actual inside, you know, didn't finish very well. And after I kind of took it off the lathe, I started to struggle then. I should have really concentrated on it a little bit more whilst it was bolted to the lathe. But I didn't. I was a little bit impatient, took it off a bit too soon, and then struggled to finish the inside really nice. The outside's come up really well. Because I couldn't finish the inside, you don't get a really clear uh, finish. But hey, it was fun to do anyway. So thanks for watching. A couple of quick things to mention to you before I go. If anyone's interested, I still have a few tools on my website, carbide sets. These ones. Set of three, they're on my website. I had a few of these made a little while ago uh, and I had a few more requests for them as well. So if anyone's interested in a carbide set, really nice set actually, nice bit of wood. Got my little emblem in the bottom there as well. And it's got my ugly mug on it. <laughs> There's a few of those sets up on the website. Also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, the link is the top link uh, below. I do post pictures and a couple of teaser videos and teaser pictures. So if you want to follow a little bit more about the stuff that I do in my shop and making stuff, then please head on over and click the follow button. And if you want to be a little bit more adventurous, just below that, on the description below, there's another Instagram account, which has nothing to do with making stuff at all <laughs> it's just kind of following me so if you're interested in a little bit more about me and uh, the things that i get up to outside of my workshop please head on over and follow me there as well a few pictures of holidays i don't know things i get up to other than making stuff and lastly don't forget it's ukis 2018 this month this month yeah end of this month 30th of june 1st of july i think it's on and I think it's up uh, in Coventry Way again, too sure, but there'll be a link below for that as well. Not 100% if I'm actually going to make it myself this year, I may well be away that weekend. But if I do manage to get there, I'll let you know. But if you fancy it, there's a link below that tells you all about it. Sorry I didn't get a project up for you last week, I've just been uh, just absolutely manic crazy. Some of my projects haven't worked out either, so I'm having a few problems, having to wait for a few things to be ordered online and stuff like that so it's all caught up with me really make us central and then i went on holiday it's really well behind at the moment so if you don't see a video every now and again pop up on a friday i do apologize but i will try my best to get something up for you as quickly as i can i'm also thinking about mixing up my wednesdays as well and not just waffling i might be making some stuff for you on wednesdays every now and again as well but i want to mix up the channel a little bit so it might not necessarily be making stuff with wood or anything to do with wood turning so if you're interested in seeing what i come up with there then obviously come back and watch me on Wednesday again it won't be every Wednesday it'll be now and again I do want to mix things up I am really interested in making other things I want to try and broaden my horizons if I can try and get into making other stuff hopefully you'll like it because I will try and funk it up a little bit well thanks to all my new subscribers that have come over to the channel absolutely amazing really really chuffed thanks so much for your support please hang around as I say uh, if you don't like this project Maybe you'll like the next one. I know my projects aren't always going to be everyone's cup of tea or coffee, but you never know with me. So thanks to everyone that's come over to the channel. Thanks, as always, to all my old subscribers that have stuck around and been with me right from the start. I really, really do appreciate everyone watching, and I just want to say thanks to all of you. Because without you, well, 
I'll be talking to myself. Well, I'm actually talking to myself anyway. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you again, hopefully, really soon. Take care. <laughs>